Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe. I would love to have you. And um, today I just kind of wanted to talk about what I have in my pumping bag. Basically, that's um, just the bag that I bring with all of my pumping stuff um, when I go to work. So I have returned back to work. My son is about three and a half months old now, and I am exclusively pumping. So with that being said, um, I don't actually latch my son onto my breast um, to feed him. And there's a few different reasons why I really, really wanted to. Um, I'm not going to touch base too much on it. However, I really did want to because it's great bonding experience. It's also way easier than having to pump and then store the milk and all of that. But um, it just didn't end up working out for me and my son. Um, my son, he had tongue tie, so it was just causing more damage than anything. I was in a lot of pain. Um, so pumping was kind of like a happy medium where I could continue to give my son breast milk but not be in excruciating pain. I went to lactation consultants. It just wasn't working for me. I'm just gonna also just say a disclaimer. I'm not shaming anyone in any way, shape or form. If you aren't pumping or if you're not breastfeeding or if you only breastfeed, if you choose to give your baby formula as well, um, you know, whatever works for you and your family, that is great and that's what you guys need to be doing. So this is just what's worked for me. Um, and there's been lots of days, don't get me wrong, where I've just wanted to throw in the towel and quit. It's really, really hard. Um, pumping, you know, you have to do it every two to three hours. Um, so, you know, you have to keep that consistency. You have to make sure your diet is good. You have to make sure you continue taking your prenatals. Um, and it's just, it's, a, it's very um, challenging. At least I'm finding it to be very challenging. Um, but I also feel like it's rewarding for me. So like I said, if you're choosing to only breastfeed your baby or formula feed or a little bit of both or, you know, whatever you're choosing to do, that is great. And, um, you know, as long as your baby is eating and, you know, that's really all that matters. So jumping into the video now, I just want to share with you uh, what's in my pumping bag. So here is my pumping bag. I got probably one of the biggest pumping bags that I could find on Amazon. This brand is Mama More, so M-O-M-M-O-R-E. Um, it's just a brand I found on Amazon and I actually really love this bag. I think it's made really well um, and it carries everything that I need. Uh, there's leather handle details on this too, so it's just a little bit better quality. I really loved the gold detail, so they have like gold zippers and everything. I'll make sure to also link it down below, so if anyone is interested, then you know where to find it. So on the outside, there is an outside zipper. There are two side zippers, and then on the back, so if you're like a traveling mom where you are bringing luggage places, this um, is actually a detail that you can put right over the handle of your of your little luggage thing and rest it on top and wheel it a little bit easier as well. So in the front zipper, what I keep are my hair, postpartum um, hair shedding is real. Um, so I will take out this bag first. So in this bag, I just keep some of like my own personal things. I have a bunch of just the throwaway nipple pads. Um, these ones, I believe, are the Evenflow brand. I'm not super crazy about the Evenflow brand. I really like the Lansano a lot better. I do also have reusable pads in here too. And then lastly, lastly, I just keep some lanolin cream. There's not really one that I found that I like over the other. I've tried them all. They kind of all do the same thing. It really doesn't matter to me. Um, so I just keep one of them in here. And then... Moving on to the next thing that I keep in the zipper. I just, um, I'm a little low right now, but I do keep Medela bags in here. And then I also keep um, Medela sterilizing bags in here. I don't really sterilize things at work. I normally will just sterilize once a day when I get home. But if I wanted to, I have them in here ready to go. So I have two zippers on each side. There's one zipper that is just um, for like the entry to everything on the inside of the bag. Let's see if I can hold it up. So this is just like everything that's thrown into my bag. 
you can zip if you like need to get like access to it and it has just a little con um like a little mesh uh, pouch that you can put things into this with you there is a longer strap this is where i keep my pump so in here um i guess i'll just take it out so it's actually completely like concealed so it's not just thrown in with everything else in the bag if that makes sense it's just all in its own little area so um basically i use the ameda and it's the ameda finesse pump um so it's cool because this one you can actually use it with batteries um so if you're like out and about and you like you need a pump and you don't have access to a cord you can just put batteries in it and then you'll be able to use it um where wherever pretty much and then just the tubing and um and the plug that's pretty much all that i keep in that um container um and then in the main zipper of the bag it kind of looks like this on the inside if you can see it also came with just like a little um like sanitized place that you can put everything so then again my hair is on everything i just wipe it down like every day um to make sure it stays clean um so basically i just lay this down i'll put my pump just right on top of it and you know like any bottles or anything so then I have like a clean working station to work on and then I can even like through the day fold it up and just like chuck it into my bag if I'm in a rush that was just stored in this really large side pouch if you can see and then I also keep just an extra ziploc bag so like um what I'll explain, so I just washed these so they're a little bit wet. I just wanted them in the bag for the video. So these are the um, flange bottles for my pump. So through the day, um, if I don't have time to like wash everything, then I can just put it into a Ziploc bag and store it in the fridge. I'll touch base on why I do that a little bit later in the video. Um, so I'll just always have like an extra bag on backup just um just in case i also keep um this is just a medela storage um like milk storage thingy and then it comes with a freezer pack and then normally i have four bottles in here but um i don't have them right now and these were in the freezer so they have a lot of like condensation on the inside of them but i keep all of my bottles just inside of here and then um and then as i fill them up um through the day when i pump i can just easily put it into the fridge i also keep just a little bottle of water um or at least i try to keep something to drink in my pumping bag so then if i am not by like my water that i have um on my desk like if i have to go somewhere else to pump i just have a little bottle of water with me because i get really thirsty whenever I'm pumping. So this is super important. Um, if you're pumping at work, the last thing you want is for one of your pump parts to go bad. So I keep just a backup of each of um, the things that I need. So I have um, a backup of the duck bills in here. Um, and that's just like the thing that goes, like if you're familiar with Medela stuff, you would like bring the Medela membrane thingies. Um, I just bring duck bills because that's what my pump uses. And then I also have these little, I don't even know what they are, but like, they're like, you need them for your pump to work. And I just keep them in like a little container. So then I have backups just in case they go bad or I lose one or something happens. Also, um, I'm super paranoid that my pump, like if it were to go out, like, um, like if my pump were to just stop working during work, I don't want to be like not able to pump. So I bring another bag and in this bag, I keep just extra backups. So I always have the Medela bottles with me. I just bring this. So like I have a Medela bottle always with me at work. I can just twist that on here um, and then I can have a hands-free pump. So it's just the hands-free pump. So at least I'll be able to still pump. Um, if my pump stops working. I keep um, backup, like, I don't even know what these are called. They're like nipple, oh, they're actually called a flexi shield. So basically like you put them onto your 
um, flange. I don't always do this, but sometimes I do for comfort. And then um, it's just a little bit more comfortable. I found some people don't like them, some people do. So um, if you're not sure about your flanges, try and see if you can find um, one of these that's compatible. I'll link the ones that I have down below. They're from Ameda. Um, and I think they're kind of, I think they're called like a nipple stimulator or something like that. And it just helps your nipple get engaged to, you know, like have let down and stuff like that to help the milk come through. These are great, especially if it's cold. I just microwave these. What are they even called? So they're called Earth Mama Booby Tubes. Earth Mama Booby Tubes. I don't know if you can even read that, but I'll link these down below. These things are awesome. You literally just stick them into the microwave. So if you have access to a microwave, stick them in there for about a minute. At least that's what I do. Um, and then you simply just like put them on the inside of your bra. And I normally will do that um, like before I pump, just so like they're warm, like especially if it's cold, the last thing you wanna do is pump. So like it gets like everything like warm and then like the milk starts to like move a little bit better. Um, so like I like grab these out like when I'm home and use them or I'll put them in my pumping bag. Lastly, I just um, bring like a nursing bra. I normally always have a nursing bra on, so I never actually have to use it, but I'll keep one just in case. Um, yeah. And then lastly, I just keep a um, dry erase marker, and then I also keep a pen. So then if I need to write on the Medela bags, then I have something I can write... I have something I can write on the bags with. So that's pretty much everything that I keep in my pumping bag. Um, I do keep some things at work as well because I do have a desk at work so I can just keep like things that I don't need to be bringing home with me just there. So at work I have um, some of the uh, mother's milk tea. I also keep a backup shirt just in case I were to leak through whatever I was wearing. I have like a backup shirt that I can change into. Um, and then at work, I also have, I'll see if I can find it and actually link it because it's really awesome. I love it. But like Boone makes one that's portable. So it's like it closes up and then it opens up and you have like a patch of the drying rack. And then on the other side, you have like brushes and stuff that you can um, wash the bubbles with and you can like close it up and bring it with you. I just keep it at work because that's the only place I'd use it. And that's pretty much what I keep at work. Okay, so on to the tips and trick portion of, um, it doesn't have to really be pumping at work. So like if you're pumping at home or pumping at work or just pumping in general, um, and even if you're not pumping, some of these are just good things to know, like if you're breastfeeding as well. So um, these are just kind of things that I have found over the course of a couple of months um, what have worked for me. Um, and hopefully some of these work for you. If you already are doing any of these um, tips and tricks, let me know down below which ones you've been doing. Let me know which ones you've tried, um, which ones you like. And if you have any other tips and tricks, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say as well. So um, please let me know what you guys do um, that helps you with pumping because um, like I said earlier, I'm still struggling with it every day in these little um these little tips and tricks just really help me to keep going and get me through it. Tip number one is make sure to drink water. Um, so when you're pumping, if throughout the day it's hard for you to make that time to like go and get water. Sometimes it is hard, especially with a baby. You're not thinking about yourself as much as you should be considering you're feeding your baby with what you're making. So um, I always try and have like water on hand. So I have water in my pumping bag. I do have a Yeti that I try and just have filled up, ready to go. However, through the day, it's sometimes challenging. So I just um, make sure to have water with me while I'm sitting down to pump because you're kind of stuck there anyways. You can't really do anything. So you might as well make sure you're drinking your water. And tip number two, the booby warmers, um, the Earth Mama, so you literally just like put them inside of your bra. Um, I microwave them for about a minute and then you put them inside your bra. I do that and then I'll like set up all my pump stuff. So then by the time I'm ready to pump, I can just put the pumps on. They really help with, I feel like my milk flow and they make pumping a little bit more comfortable than as if like I wasn't using them. 
Tip number three, as I was explaining earlier as well, I have these flexi shields. They are um, meant to help engage the nipple um, in releasing milk. Um, so these ones, they are 21 millimeters, and I think that they only make them in a 21 millimeter, so they go um, on like a 24, 25 millimeter flange, I believe. Um, and then you like put them on and, and it kind of makes a new flange size. So I go back and forth. Sometimes I'll use these and then sometimes I'll just use the flange. I had so much trouble figuring out my flange size um, at the beginning. I didn't even know that was a thing you needed to do, um, but it is. You need to know what your flange size is. So I got this ruler. It's from Legendary Milk. It has all of these different sizes on it that are gonna tell you what your nipple millimeter is. So you pretty much just like put it on Try and figure out like which um, diameter yours is and they say to also um, factor in like an extra two millimeters on each side of the nipple so it should be like four millimeters larger so um, you kind of just would test it out see what size you are and that really helps you to determine the flange you should be using because you don't want to use the wrong flange so many bad things can happen you can um, end up damaging the nipple you can just end up not having good milk flow or milk production, which in turn is going to make your milk supply go away. Tip number five, applying coconut oil or some kind of a nipple balm before pumping. I don't do this every time, but if I have time or remember to do it, I always feel like my pumping sessions are so much less painful. They're more comfortable. Um, and it's just, um, I don't know, I feel like if you're able to relax more, you're going to be getting more milk out. And tip number six, so this is something that's extremely helpful if you want to multitask. Pump whenever you're doing something that you have to be sitting there to do anyways. Pump while you're getting ready. If you have a hands-free bra um, or some way that you can just like slip something in and start pumping, pump while you get ready, do your hair, do your makeup, um, and then, you know, you're multitasking while you're doing that, or you can also pump in the car. So they have, um, they have car adapters that you can plug into your car and you can simply pump as you're driving. Um, it might look a little bit silly, but it's totally like who even cares? Like you're saving time because you're stuck there driving anyways. Tip number seven, this works really well if you're working. So after you're done pumping, what I have learned, and I'm sure a lot of people may already know this, once you're done pumping, instead of having to wash it right away, you can grab a Ziploc bag or just something, put it into the bag, and then throw it into the fridge. And it does the same thing as if like you're storing milk, so it keeps it good. And once you're done with that, you can like grab it out of the fridge, repump, and do that through your day at work. Um, just so then you save some time and you don't have to be washing everything in between. Then I have one more tip. I think this is the best tip and most insane thing that I've ever learned, at least with pumping. So everyone's heard about the hands-free pumping bras. You, um, you know, they have like the Modelo ones that like strap around just like a tube top does, or they have like the traditional looking bra that um, you put the flange through the hole and it just holds it to pump. Well, they're awesome once you get them on, except setup time takes so freaking long. Like, I'm not even kidding. It takes so long. Or I'm going to try and show you on this bra. This is a really grubby one. There's literally, um, like, lint stuck to it. It was, like, a really cheap bra that I got on Amazon. But it does the job, and I just, like, keep it as a backup. So... I'm just gonna put it on and see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So your bra is on, and um, normally I loosen them completely before doing this. And you have, I have hair all over them. So just your traditional um, bra, it comes down, and then you have this. So what I've found you can do is you literally get the flange in this piece and then you put the flange on the outside like that right and then you grab the piece to clasp and you clasp it back up 
Make sure your nipple's aligned where it needs to be and you're literally good to go. So you would do the same thing on the other side and then when you're done, it's just as easy as snapping, taking it out, putting your milk away wherever you need to, whatever you need to do with it and then you're ready to go. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much my tips and tricks, guys. Um, another thing I'll throw in there you need to make sure to be eating a good amount of calories through the day when you're breastfeeding. I struggle with this immensely and I just reminded myself right now, that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. Make sure to have snacks with you. Um, I have snacks with me, like so many snacks with me at work. Um, like in my desk, I always want to make sure I have snacks. So then if I don't have time to like eat a full blown meal, at least I have like healthy snacks or fruit or something that I can be eating. You can put it in your purse, your pumping bag, whatever works for you in your car. Just make sure you're eating snacks and drinking water and taking your vitamins, supplements, whatever you need to be doing. Um, and I wish you guys a successful pumping, breastfeeding journey, whatever it is that you are doing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational. I hope it was fun. I hope you learned something new. Um, and like I said, please share anything that you've been doing. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you found works for you, like whether you're pumping or um, just breastfeeding in general, nursing your baby, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to know what you guys do. Um, and let me know if you try any of these as well. If you try anything and they end up working or don't work, please share them. I really would love to know. Um, and make sure again to give the video a thumbs up please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And if you have any questions or if you have anything that you'd like to see next, just let me know. I'll make sure to have everything that I can find linked as well. So if you're interested in purchasing anything and trying anything out for yourself, I'll have as many links down below for the things I've talked about in the video. Thank you guys so much and bye!